really is, Mike. This program has gotten an awful lot of attention since it opened two years ago, and for good reason. This is really the only clinic of its kind that offers health care free to people in need, and they do it in a very unique way. I came down here ostensibly to retire, but in about four months, I, I, I gave up on golf and all the other things and decided to go back into medicine. Dr. Barry Hellman is now the medical director of the Volunteers in Medicine Clinic, a medical center that provides health care free to those who otherwise could not afford it. Nobody pays anything that comes here for any care. Uh, we do their lab work for free. We do their x-rays that we can do for free. We do all the medical care for free. Uh, we even provide them some medications that we can for free. You had some high blood pressure in the past. So how do they do it? By enlisting the help of retired physicians who want to give back to their community, but who also want to practice That's medicine the without the headaches of having their own practice. The volunteers offers them a place to practice where they don't have to worry about uh, filling out a million forms and they don't have to worry about government interference and they don't have to bill patients and they don't have to worry about uh, patients paying or bills being paid. It takes all the um, strain and stress out of what they uh, were doing in the, in the past and just leaves uh, the, the, the joy of, of, of treating people. The clinic receives no state or federal funding whatsoever. Thanks to the clinic's founder, Dr. Jack McConnell, it is completely funded by private donations. Currently, about 25 retired physicians volunteer their time to provide medical, mental, and dental care to residents and workers on Hilton Head Island and Defusky Island. Doctors see about 50 patients a day and say the numbers are growing. Between 1995 and 1996, um, from summer to summer, uh, we increased our uh, attendance by 64 uh, percent overall so you can see that we're growing at a tremendous uh, rate. The Volunteers in Medicine Clinic has gained national recognition and is now a model for other communities trying to solve their health care problems. And the volunteer doctors and nurses do go through continuing education programs and they are provided with special licenses so they can practice at the clinic. And they're not the only volunteers. There are hundreds of people that work behind the scenes to make sure that the clinic runs smoothly. And Mike and Teresa, you can see why this is such an impressive setup and why so many other communities are now modeling themselves after something like this. Great desire to try to help out the relief effort there. The U.S. will also continue to have a major...